Hello everyone, I'm Kushal and here I am today to explain to you guys about my 10th weeks and my last week's STEAM project. What I made for my 10th week's STEAM project is that I made a spy code which you can use to send encoded messages to your friends, family members, and other people. So one thing I'm going to tell you is that don't use this um, spy code during emergency situations. That's the only thing I want to tell you for emergency. One, because the other person might not know how to decode this code or it's going to take them a long time to decode it. So that's one, two things. So don't use it during emergency. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the two parts of the code. This is the code. This is the like letters and this is the encoded version. And this is some sentences or words that I made using the encoded version and you can try to decode them. So here, A, the uppercase A is gonna be 41 in the code but the lowercase a is gonna be 61. You see the space in between the lowercase a and uppercase b? That one, the space is 20. I'm gonna tell you one thing right now. Every time a space is always 20. Always 20. Yeah, that's always 20. And then you have a lot of letters over here which you can use to decode the code. Now I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna show you some ways which you can use to decode the code. So I'm gonna I'll put it in replace, so it's on non text. I'm gonna switch it to bytes. I'm gonna make it hexadecimal it's already in a byte. Right now, if you see over here, this is the encoded version, but this is the decoded version right over there. And what you can use to do this is that you can use none. It's like grouped together. It's safe. And four bits, that's, and if you click five bits, automatically goes into binary. Two bytes, three bytes, four bytes, and then so on. But if you put in binary and then put it into none, this is the most safest in place. This is the most safest thing according to me and you can also switch it to be reverse this is even even more safe because in binary and it's none like the person's gotta be really good at binary code to figure this out so this is one's really hard to figure out it you can like yeah you can decode it but it's really really hard that's why i can see you can also just click the code it's gonna switch them up and then yeah you can also like there are many other things you can use i can use case transform it's i can just make it off some uppercase lowercase any other case numeral system octal hexadecimal this is octal hexadecimal i can use this roman numerals hexadecimal decimal convert to I can just change the conversion and everything. I can use bitwise operation. There are many other things which you can do in this, but the most safest one is this one. Reverse. And this one's the most safest one. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try to solve my encoded messages to see what they are. 48 and 69. There might be two letters in this. Um, yeah, you might already know what this is, but let's just figure it out anyways. So 40, let's got to find out 48. Um, 48, yes, 48 is right here. Okay, there's one letter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 
one, two. Okay, now you get one, two, and you also have to count the spaces in here because spaces is a number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, twenty-two is H is twenty-two. So it's H is the first letter. And and the, we have to find sixty-nine. Oh, sixty-nine is right here. It's right, perfectly three letters. Lowercase, uppercase, lower. Oh, this thing means high. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you what this means. Um, this means high, because we already have the high space. I am Kushal. And I'm gonna let you, I'm, we're gonna decode this on the website. So I'm gonna put, oh, this is reverse. So that's reverse text, place. My favorite subjects are math and science. That's what you can do. So, and like you can make many other decoded messages. You can even use these signs. Like now I'm gonna make up a new one. So now I'm gonna use the help of this website. Please. Um, say yay this is the code but you might just say this is the code but the code is this is the code y a y and the and that yeah yay and you can also say i made a spy code that is really hard to decode and yeah you can also use this website to like make codes you don't have to make them yourself you can just use the website called crypty.com so yeah and i also want to talk Thank Tech Bytes for putting in a wonderful event for 10 weeks of Steam. And that really helped me a lot to improve my Steam skills and made me better at using them. So, thank you for watching.